my snap. This is about to be crazy. And we got the salad here, dude. Khalil, not salad again. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to stay on my keto, man. I did include some seafood today, though. But today for the keto, man, we got nice broccoli, some nice grilled shrimp, some seasoned vegetables, man. It's gonna hit. And we got this bomb salad. I cannot wait to go in on this salad, y'all. Of course, we got our nice cold water. And, man, we got the pink salt, man. And when you're on a keto diet, man, you want to stay on this pink salt, y'all. It has um, natural minerals. And uh, yeah, it's not processed like regular white salt, you know what I mean? So Pink salt is the way to go. We got some French dressing because I love French dressing. Nice and sweet. I'm not even sure I can have French dressing on keto, but it's fine. Alright? It's fine. As long as I'm eating healthy, okay? I feel like I'm good, alright? <laughs> some people are hella strict on keto. Like, they won't even make their sauces or nothing because they don't want to get kicked out of keto for the littlest thing. I doubt that's going to kick me out of keto, dude. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, baby. HD. Mmm, you know, if y'all want to eat healthy, go with Sharky's, dude. It's the way to go. So bomb. These good vegetables have just like stuff on it. It tastes so good and nice and sweet. Mmm. Organic, grown, and they have grass fed meat. So, y'all already know y'all getting the best of the best for Sharky's. But I might stop keto and just just stay with intermittent fasting, you guys, because I'm trying to eat a variety of food. I can't just come in with shrimp, broccoli, and salad all the time, or like fish, broccoli, and salad every time. And this this channel ain't making that much money to be getting seafood every day yet. <laughs> So I might cut out the feed in, uh, I might cut out the keto and eat less calories, um, meaning I can eat whatever I want, especially if it's for a mukbang. And uh, yeah, mmm, I love their vegetables, dude. So good, dude. But the vegetables, dude, is my favorite part. Mmm. Mm. Somebody in my last video was like, um, um, when I was talking about like 90s kids and stuff, they were like, yeah, why are kids so tied to their, mm. so tied to their iPhone. An iPad. And look, I understand it, okay? We didn't have this type of tech when we were um growing up. Now that we're grown, we have it, right? Check this out. I was looking at watching Joe Rogan. And human and this is gonna be an interesting subject, guys, so get ready for to be a nerd. In this in this video humans are always developing evolution pushed us to keep growing evolution helps us grow right we went from cavemen then we invented fire then we invented sticks to go fishing <laughs> then we invented huts to live in instead of living in caves why do we keep building growing and evolving why does evolution keep pushing us to keep building and growing stuff for what reason why do we make a small hut and nowadays we make buildings bigger and better than small huts when if you look at a bee they don't build, they've been building beehives for ages the same way. They don't evolve and, and build different, bigger, more sustainable beehives or, or beehives made out of metal or stronger material. They use the same material they used years ago. Why is that? Why is it that humans and apes are the only species 
that seem to keep evolving and, and wanting to evolve and make things bigger, faster, better, bigger, faster, better. Why did we make a device that helps us communicate with other people from far away? A device that helps us speak languages we don't even know how to speak, communicate, you know what I mean? I say something on my phone and it'll um, repeat that in, that in that certain language, what I need to say. They have apps for that. Uh, uh, we, have a, we, we don't need to remember directions anymore. We have maps on our phones. It's because I think this is all a part of evolution. I think evolution is pushing us to keep creating technology. I think this is all natural and we're naturally supposed to do this. Technology, a lot of people separate technology from, from nature, but technology might actually be nature. I, what I'm saying is it might actually be a part of our evolutionary process. Maybe this is what we're supposed to do. Why else will we have a device that basically is a part of us now? You know what I mean? And in my head, I'm thinking evolution might be pushing us to want to fuse with technology. Why do we carry around a phone everywhere we go? Because it helps us do stuff faster. Talk to people faster. No directions. Learn information. Remember stuff that we don't need to remember. It's like a secondary brain. More powerful. Eventually down the line, I believe that evolution will push humans to fuse with technology, man. We already a part of technology now. Our phones is a part of us, dude. We're cyborgs and we don't even know it. <clears throat> that phone you have in your hand right now watching me is a part of you whether you like it or not. That's an organ, bro. That's It's an organ that stays outside of your body. And eventually, human evolution will push us to keep creating, creating, to where that piece of technology will now be implemented in our and everybody, I'm telling y'all in the future, it's gonna be some crazy shit. They're probably gonna put a chip in your head where you don't need a phone no more. Everything you need just pops up right in front of your face. Blah, 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 blah. Anything you need to remember, you just pop it in that chip in your brain and then boom, you remember it. Directions, you'll just know it because of that chip in your head. I'm telling you, man, it's gonna get a lot more crazy. Things are gonna get a lot more faster, more convenient. And, uh, yeah, that's what I believe. I believe that evolution is purposely making humans create technology to fuse with it. To become bigger, better, stronger beings. Think of it this way. A hermit crab isn't born with a... Is a hermit crab born with a shell? A hermit crab is born with a shell. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. But they get bigger and better shells as they grow. That wasn't born with them. You know what I mean? And they attach it to them to make their lives more better, stay protected, blah, blah, blah. That's all. That's my, that's my, that's my conclusion. That's the, I think that's the reason why humans keep evolving and making stuff. Because we're supposed to. That's I think the evolution is pushing us that way. It's a natural force. And people try to make technology unnatural. But I think it's natural. And we just don't know. <clears throat> we got deep. <laughs> we just got really deep. And somebody was like, somebody in my demons one day said, money is the root of all evil. And I said, people can't have stuff for free. Because if you think about it, if people got stuff for free, like iPhones, iPads, it would be hard to keep up with demand, right? 
people will rob banks. I mean, people will rob other people for that stuff once it runs out. If if they were giving out iPhones for free, people will re literally be robbing other people because all of them ran out. Nobody would want to work and create new iPhones because they're not getting some type of reward for it. People only work for a reward, which is money. Doctors are only doctors to get paid. Teachers are only teachers to get paid. So I was telling her, relax. We need money right now because down the line, money's going to force people to keep wanting to work. The more people work, the more discoveries we have. The more discoveries we have, the more technology we have. And the more technology we have, the more we don't have to work. Eventually, down the line, down the cycle, our technology will be so advanced because of people working and working for money that we won't have to work no more. Everything will be automated. Your jobs will be automated. <clears throat> Creation of iPhones will be automated. Everything will be freaking automated. And then humans can just sit their butts down and relax. So when people say money is root of all evil, I don't think so. I think money is a money in this whole system we have where we trade currency for goods. Down the line is gonna create something very amazing. In my opinion. <laughs> or it can all go to crap and we all just freaking explode <laughs> and kill each other. I don't know, dude. I'm not <laughs> But that's my observation. And what I believe. <clears throat> but yeah, that's crazy, man. I think I think yeah, that's the future of human beings become one with technology. People are afraid of AI and what AI can become. Will AI take over the world? I don't even think that. I think that will become AI. <laughs> when people think of AI cause a human extinction, hell yeah, because humans will become the AI. There will be no more human. You get what I'm saying? This has gotten really sci-fi, but shoot. I'm just speaking facts. <clears throat> I'm gonna make that a movie, bro. I'm gonna make a movie where and this will be a crazy movie because the twist will be. I'm gonna explain the movie to y'all, right? So the movie will be humans create AI, right? And then ancient Egypt times they find a prophecy book where the prophecy sa prophecy says that when AIs become reality, humans will go extinct. So then all the humans are are freaking becoming scared and freaking panicking and trying to kill all the AIs and stuff like that, right? And then in the end of the movie, a guy went, it's going to be a big war, AIs versus humans. And in the end of the movie, <laughs> a guy's going to create a fusion to where humans can put their bodies into robots. And it'll be dope I guess and then at the end of the movie humans will discover that it was never a threat AIs were never a threat and by what they meant by human extinction is that humans will one day become AI and that humans will be yo that's so freaking Hollywood movie B I'm telling you B alright let me start talking dog let me start talking I'm eating <clears throat> that's a Hollywood movie for y'all who get it, y'all get it. <laughs> Speaking of, what y'all think about the iPhone 11, dude? I hate it. <laughs> I think it's a waste of money. No new specs. Same thing as last year. But yo, I'm still gonna buy that. No. <laughs> I was thinking about going towards going to Android this year because it's the same thing with Apple, but it just works with my ecosystem. I can airdrop to my laptop. I can iMessage. 
This is way more convenient. AirPods connect to them like this. It's just like, yo, there's no point, dude. You might as well, you're stuck. You might not like it, but you're stuck. And I swear, if a director watches this movie and he steal my movie idea, I'm, I'm suing. Hey, I got this on camera. Everybody remember this day. Because <laughs> that's a big plot twist. <clears throat> Woo! Full G. Mmm. Protein, bro. You know, it's funny, I haven't eaten in like. I'm trying to do the math. Um, 20 hours. I haven't eaten in 20 hours. <clears throat> Supposed to be 16, but I woke up. I wasn't even hungry. I was like, bro. Mm. Woke up, woke up, went to the gym, went right to my computer, and then just didn't even eat. <clears throat> and then around this time, I got hungry, so I was like, all right. You see how I eat big, pack full meals with like vegetables that make you feel full like broccoli is a great uh, vegetable to eat on a diet because it makes you feel full Woo! alright I'm tapping out I'm gonna save the rest of this for a little later today before my fasting let me know what y'all want me to eat next <clears throat> Let me know about, let me know if y'all have any comments on that nerdy stuff I was just talking about. <laughs> a lot of y'all old heads are going to be like, I feel that don't like technology. I'm gonna be like, nah, that's not, we're not supposed to be woman technology, but, yo, I'm telling you, there's a reason. There's a reason we keep making things bigger, better, faster. Right, let me get my weird cell phone. <laughs> I love y'all. Thumbs up the video. And uh, yeah. Subscribe to this channel for more great conversation. I'm out. Peace.